Hi everyone, today we're back with a proper maintenance on the Xbox. I'm picking up the camera this morning as I'm heading out the door. It is a beautiful fall Monday morning here in Griffin, Indiana, but let's get the TLX 3500 fired up and let's get over to the shop. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, please help me out by hitting the like button and all the mods can be found on the in-game mod hub. Today guys, we're going to be doing some work for a land developer. He called me uh, uh, almost about a week ago where I gave the quote here. We are going to be mowing an overgrown abandoned property. He's going to be demoing it here, but the grass is so tall, he doesn't know what exactly is at the property. So our job is to get it really cleaned up by uh, getting all the tall grass cut down here. This is going to be the perfect job as well for the skid steer here. But just getting over to the shop, it looks like... Yeah, this might have been myself or one of the employees uh, that I have part-time. They left the truck and trailer like this. Why don't we just use that? Yeah, that would save us a little bit of time. But we need to get the skid steer and the brush mower attachment. Now, I picked up this attachment, I believe, uh, a Saturday, uh, which was a few days ago here. This is a 72-inch brush mower for the skid steer, and that's going to work quite well here. So, let's hop in the Bobcats, uh, and let's get it loaded up, and we need to get going. I really think this is going to take us several hours, uh, and I, I want to get started as early as we can. All right, let's see here. We'll get attached here. The quick attach really does come in handy. And this uh, lizard uh, skid steer is really awesome here. Now, I will be doing a lot more videos here on the Xbox as well. You guys have been asking for it, and I do have a lot, a lot planned, including the homeowner series on the Xbox. We'll be back every single week here. But the small 18-foot trailer, guys, although this is uh, quite small, this does the trick for us here. Let's put a few tie-down straps on it. I do want to make sure the uh, skid steer is greased up uh, in all the grease fittings so I'm going to do that quick good thing I just remembered that wouldn't be too good and that would put a lot of extra wear and tear but let me do that there and we should be able to get on over to job With the proper maintenance, guys, we've taken a lot of different types of jobs here. I think this might be one of the first times we're taking a job like this, but that means uh, that this might open up a lot more opportunities and more revenue for the business here by having a uh, brush more attachment and things like that here. But this TLX 2020, guys, it's our oldest truck. And this is what I started off the business with, and it just keeps on running here. I actually am a huge fan of this truck here. It does also look really, really uh, sweet here. The two-tone kind of classic farm truck style paint is one of my favorites as well. All right, we're just getting over to the job here. Now, like I mentioned, guys, it is just so hard to even see things here. So we have to do a quick walk around on this thing. Look at this. It looks to be a mobile home, and uh, there's old uh, scrap metal cars, things like that. But all this is going to be cleared out. But look at that, guys. It is just so tall here. Wow. There's uh, bushes growing around back here. Shipping containers. I mean, look at this. We have to mow all around this without damaging anything here. So let's get the skids here warmed up here let's get to mowing taking on a job like this guys is pretty big here for us we are working with one of the biggest home builders land developers in the uh, county which is pretty big here I talked with him about doing excavation work everything for him including uh, just everything uh, building roads things like that here so hopefully we could do a really good job and uh, we could uh, keep taking on more with him but let's get to mowing this all right, we got the uh, skid steer engine revved up there. I wanted to make sure we had the RPMs right before I engaged uh, this because this takes a lot of horsepower, a lot of hydraulic flow uh, to keep this thing running here. But one thing about brush mowing, guys, especially something like this, you don't know what exactly is in the grass here. So although I want to do uh, this in a as quick of a time as we can, we do not want to go too fast, run over a piece of scrap metal or something and end up damaging uh, this brush mower here because this attachment is quite expensive even, even though uh, it uh, looks just so simple here but we'll go right around this here now I'm not sure if we're going to get the demo work I'm, I don't think we really have the equipment uh, to really tackle that here but we can definitely dig the foundation things like that 
even uh, do sod and uh, so many different things. But hey, uh, I could always purchase another machine if uh, uh, we do get offered uh, to take this uh, trailer park down. This area is so tight in here, we have to watch the uh, steps here. And let's see here, I'm scraping the uh, side of the skid steer tracks on just a little bit here. That doesn't seem to do too much damage to it. Let me see if I can go around these cars. Wow, this is going to get tricky in some areas here. But getting this all cut down means the workers can really get to work here. And also there's critters. There's so many different things with tall grass like this that you just don't want to have around. Especially when you're trying to walk in it and get things cleaned on up here. And I'm trying to go as far as I can into this brush line as well. But I think that uh, an excavator could really get the uh, brush and all the trees uh, cleared out and dug out no problem. We're going to be moving on to the property line here, which is just the roadway here. Look at that, guys. It's a deer running. Wow. Maybe all the loud noise and me working at this abandoned property had the deer running out of nowhere. That must have been it here. But I just want to get every little bit of this cleared out here. I think they're going to remove everything, the trees and anything on the lot here. So it's probably best for us to do all this as well. And it also cleans up along the roadside. Now, like I mentioned, guys, I do want to do a lot more Xbox videos here. These are a lot of fun, and they're uh, quite challenging to make videos just like the PC, but with fewer mods, and that is one fun challenge that I really do like having. You guys seem to be really liking it, which is awesome, and there's so many cool ideas I do have planned here, and I hope everyone uh, has a great holiday season here. The holidays are finally upon us which is super exciting as well. I will definitely have some holiday specific videos, things like that uh, down the road here as well. But uh, I'm also trying to make sure uh, we don't go uh, under any small uh, trees where we end up uh, hitting the cab with skid seer. That wouldn't be too good. That would definitely cause a little bit of damage. Well guys, we've got the skids here back on the trailer. That means the job is done and we're on to the next one here. So I have to send the invoice over to the land developer. But take a look at that guys. We brush mowed this overgrown property. It looks really good. I can't wait uh, to see what this property uh, turns out over the coming months as they get to work on it here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.